What's a mashup that pleases not the eardrums, but the taste buds? Hi, welcome to today's episode of In the Kitchen, Keeping It Real. I'm your host, Arielle, and today we're going to be making quinoa breakfast cereal. Quinoa breakfast cereal, the mashup that pleases not only your taste buds, but if your taste buds sing to you, your eardrums too. We're going to get working. I've got my steamed quinoa all ready. As usual, I'm going to spend a good chunk of time during the show chatting with you. If you need slash want explicit instructions and directions, you can either click the link below at inthekitchenkeepingitreal.com to see the recipe and the detailed instructions on the website or watch the embedded video directions. So I've got steamed quinoa. It takes about 12 minutes. It's made with water. 95% of the time I actually make my quinoa with bone broth, but that's a different story and we'll talk about that in another episode. What I'm going to do is puree up a plum from the farmer's market. Just got it Sunday. Very, very fresh. Fresh from the farmer's market. Right in the food processor. I'm going to do another one. Because I want it to be nice and puree-y. Like a liquid. You want to get the juiciness out. And it does, obviously, with some of the fruit that you're using, it'll make a difference. You can use whatever's in season. Pears are great in the... Fall, they get nice and soft and swoony. Swoony is my adjective for yummy. This is actually kind of chunky, but that's fine. It's gonna get all mushed and mashed, thus the name, quinoa breakfast cereal mashup. The question, rather, thus the question. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna get these nice and corp. So quinoa is loaded with calcium, magnesium, Protein. Great way to get protein in the morning without eggs and bacon. Not that I have anything against eggs and bacon. I love me an egg bacon breakfast and it will keep you full for a long time. This is more of a fruity, carbohydrate breakfast. Tiny little dollop of yogurt just to add some tartness. There will be like a mushiness to the quinoa with the puree plus the tartness of the yogurt. Some crunch from a jar of mixed nuts that I have. I'm going to add some fresh fruit on top some goji berries. Goji berries are technically considered in China a Chinese herb. Phenomenal for you. Loaded with antioxidants, which, you know, I don't know. Sometimes people with antioxidant, it can almost be like a buzzword. Loaded with antioxidants. Sometimes things that are really sugary, like berries, which are good. They're so good. you got to get them wild, though. It matters. You know, you're the themes. Themes are emerging in the show. It matters where the food comes from. And how you consume it and how much of it you consume. We'll just add that right on top. And I gotta tell you guys, my favorite mashup champion of all champions, the DJ, Girl Talk, lesser known fact about that dude, name, Greg Gillis. I know, he's not gonna want me to tell you that and I really hope he isn't offended, but Greg Gillis, love you man, love your work. I call you G squared, G squared if you're out there and you're wondering what an awesome gluten-free breakfast is, it's healthy for you. I highly recommend quinoa breakfast cereal. Mashup for you. All for you, Greg. Favorite mashup of all time, Greg Gillis. Thank you for making it. Feed the animal, still there. I know. Ace of base meets Swiss beets meets drink him a two step. We're doing it. It's on! Get the Patron and tell them that it's on. More like, get the family. Tell them that it's on. Thanks so much for watching today's episode and hanging out with me in my kitchen. Can't wait to catch you next week, Wednesday's YouTube, In the Kitchen, Keeping It Real, in the kitchen, keeping it real .com for today's full recipe and instructions. Let me ask you this. What's your favorite mashup? Feel free to leave that in song form, food form, or any other mashup that you can think of. Have a great week. Ciao.